Sun, Sendegi, Azadi. Woman, life, freedom. It was the message spread around the world last September, stemming from protests in Iran. And now, Narjis Mohammadi, one of the country's human rights leaders, is being recognized with this year's Nobel Peace Prize. Altogether, the regime has arrested her 13 times, convicted her five times, and sentenced her to a total of 31 years in prison and 154 lashes. Mohammadi has fought against Iran's death penalty, sexualized violence against political prisoners, and for assistance towards jailed activists and their families. I hope one day to be able to tell you that execution have stopped in Iran and that women in my country have got their rights. She was most recently arrested in 2015 for a campaign against the death penalty. When news of Masa Amini's death for what the state said was not properly wearing a hijab reached her prison cell, Mohammadi rallied fellow inmates to protest alongside her. These actions have come at a cost. Her husband has not seen her in 11 years and her children in seven. But her family says the Peace Prize will make her braver and more fearless. Her husband says this prize actually belongs to the people of Iran, in particular those fighting for human rights and all those that are working for democracy and civil movements in Iran. The UN's Human Rights Office says their strength in the face of oppression over things as simple as what they do or do not wear is a symbol. We would absolutely say that this really um, is something that really highlights the courage and determination of the women of Iran and how they are an inspiration to the world. The Nobel Committee is calling for Mohammadi's release this December so she can receive her award in person. Kyle Benning, Global News.